Hello, my name is Nicole Angard, and I'm the Director of Open Source Education at Bywater Solutions, and today I'm going to give you a quick tour of the Koha Open Source Integrated Library System. From the Koha Online Catalog, visitors can perform both simple and advanced searches. The results are returned with basic information about the titles, as well as enhanced content such as cover images and patron reviews. In addition to being able to search the library's collection via the OPAC, patrons can log in and access personal account information, such as items they have checked out, overdue items, and on hold items. They can also review their fine record, contact information, and view personal content such as tags, purchase suggestions, and lists. All of these options can be turned on and off via the Koha staff client, which we're going to take a look at now. Since Koha is a completely web-based system, librarians access the staff functionality right from their browser. Upon logging in, staff are presented with a menu of options specific to their role in the library. In this example, we see all staff functionality because we are logged in as an administrator. Koha is a full-featured ILS with circulation, cataloging, acquisitions, serials, reporting, and various tools. As an administrator, we have the ability to access a very powerful set of administrative modules, allowing us to change the way COHA functions without the help of a technical staff. We're going to take a look at the extensive list of global system preferences to see how easy it is to turn on functionality, such as tagging in the OPAC. We simply visit the System Preferences area, click on the Enhanced Content tab, and scroll to the Tagging Preferences. From here, we can choose to turn on tagging by selecting Allow from the Tags Enabled Preference and clicking the Save button. A change like this automatically takes effect in the OPEC, and now patrons are able to add tags to catalog items. Other system administration options include setting up categories for patrons, item types, and defining your circulation rules. When it comes to other staff functionality, such as circulating items, the steps can be just as simple. To check an item out to a patron, you first search for the patron using their barcode or any part of their name. This can be done using a barcode scanner or by typing in the search box. Once you have the patron record open, you can start checking items out by scanning or typing barcodes. Each item checked out will be added to the patron record for you and the patron to review. When it comes time to check items back into the system, the process is just as simple. We visit the check-in page or use the quick check-in box at the top of the page and read the item's barcode or tag. It is at this point that circulation librarians will be notified of any transfers or holds they might need to confirm before moving forward. Before you can circulate items, you will need to have added them to the catalog. In addition to original cataloging functionality, one of the nice features in Koha is the ability to copy catalog using Z3950 search right from the cataloging interface. From my blank catalog record, I have chosen to search for my title in the Library of Congress catalog and have found that they have already cataloged the item for me. I click import and the marked data is brought right into Koha. From here, I can alter the record to meet my library standards and save my new item. Once the bib record is saved, I am asked to enter data related to the item I have in hand. I enter basic information like item type, collection code, and barcode, and then save my item. Once saved, you can perform circulation functions on the item. One example would be to place a hold on the new record for a patron. To do this, you click the Place Hold button or the Holds tab to the left of the record. From the Holds page, you can search for the patron by barcode or any part of their name. Once you choose the patron, you can place a hold on either the next available copy or a specific item. Once the hold is registered, you will be able to move the patrons to different places in the hold queue if necessary. That's all the time we have for today, but I encourage you to try the Koha demos on the Open Source Open Libraries website to learn even more about how you can use Koha in your library.